Hi, and welcome to Rooms to Puzzles, and back to the World Puzzle Federation 2016 Round 1, where I'm now bringing you an anti-night Sudoku. Of course, this puzzle is from the set of puzzles created by Netherlands Puzzle Creators. Um, this puzzle was created by Arvid Bars. I, I've got the pronunciation on that one wrong, I know. And this is a 36-point anti-night Sudoku. Anti-night. Well, anti-night, I think, was one of the first sort of weird global constraints I saw, and I absolutely love it. So I'm looking forward to giving this one a try. Of course, there'll be a link below to this puzzle, as well as to the entire World Puzzle Federation archive. Every puzzle they've released from 2020, uh, 2014 to today. Um, so um, that's a place where you can just go and find like a thousand puzzles. Um, really cool stuff. Um, but for now, I'm going to have a look at this and see what I can do with um, this puzzle, the anti night. So how do the rules work? Normal Sudoku rules apply. So in every box... In every row and in every column, the digits one to nine must be placed without repetition. And then numbers placed in cells related by a chess knight's move must be different. So a chess knight's move is this shape, two in one direction and then one in the other. Any um, two cells connected by that shape in any rotation or orientation. So this couldn't be a one is what it's saying. But any time you can connect two cells by that shape, they cannot be the same digit. So if you can draw that shape between any two cells, they may not be the same digit. That's it. That's the rules. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. Some of these rows are very full. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This must be an eight, nine pair. Why did I even mark that? There's an eight there. So that's the nine and that's the eight. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So these are three and five. And that five sees that one by night's move. So that's the three and that's the five. So that one was a little less obvious. Um, what else can I do? One is in one of those two by Sudoku. Um, b -b -b eight is in one of those two by Sudoku because eight can't be in any of those. What about this central box? Uh, two, six, eight, and nine. Yeah, yeah two, this is a two, eight pair because eight can't be in those by Sudoku and the two sees both of those by Knight's move. So this is a two, eight pair. And I'm not sure what I can do with that, but that means these are one, two, three, four, five, six, and nine. And the six means that's the nine and that's the six. So nine is now in one of those two. Ah, this is a six, nine pair as well, because um, six, nine can't be in those. Six, nine's not there, but this six sees that one by night's move. That's the nine, that's the six. That puts nine down here by Sudoku. And this is a triple. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Three can't be there. Four can't be there. Something. It. I, I don't know if it's good, but it's something. Five is in one of those two by Sudoku because five can't be there or there. Bet you it's something really even more obvious and I'm just blind. So two in this box, is this is a one, two pair, one, two, and one, two. So this is a one, two pair and not seeing it, but these are three, four, five as well. There's roping going on, three, four, five, three, four, five, three, four, five. Didn't need it, so I'm not going to explain what it is, but five can't be there, four can't be there by night's move. Three can't be there, so that's four. So this is a three, five pair, and the five looks up making that the three and that the five. Does that see anything else? I don't know. But three and three puts three in one of those three, but that three sees that one by night's move. Five and five puts five in one of those. This five sees that one by Sudoku. That five sees that one by night's move. So that's a five, which puts five right at the start of row two. Okay, let's look at this triple now. One, six, nine. Okay, well, there's no nine there by Sudoku. There's no six there by Sudoku. Well, sorry, Knight's move, which is Sudoku in this grid, but be a bit more precise, Bremster. Both in your solving and in your explaining. Okay, next. Next, next, next. Seven is in one of those two. 
what do I need to put in this box? One, which seems to be able to go almost anywhere. Two, three, four. Well, four can't go in any of those because of Knight's move. Five is limited to those. Six, seven, eight, nine. Which is over in one of those two. Hmm. What's this quadruple? One, three, four, six. Well, one is not here. Six is not here. This is on, oh, and three is not here. That's a naked single because it sees, so that cell here, I've just seen it, but I'm going to explain it. This cell sees one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that had to be a four, taking four out of all of those. This is a one, three, six, which makes that the nine, which makes that the one, which makes this the six, and this becomes a one, three pair, but this can't be a three. So this is the one, this is the three. That's very cool. Uh, that naked single there, very nice, like it. I like it. So this seven means that neither of those can be seven. So seven is in one of those two. So now I've got seven here, seven here. So seven is in one of those two. So what else is going in this box? Two, four, seven, and eight. Hmm. Not sure. This box, I need to put one, which seems to be wide open, two, which can't go in either of those because of night moves. So two is in one of those two, which makes this the eight and this the two. Cool. So one still seems wide open, two, three. So this is a two, three pair because two and three look up. So these are now one and eight. And this eight sees that one, making that the one and that the eight. And now one is up in one of those two. Is this a naked single? One, two, uh, probably not yet. But I expect it to resolve some point soon. <laughs> I can't put two in either of those cells anymore. So two is over here. And the reason for that is two has to be in one of those two. If I put two here, it sees that by Sudoku and that one by Knight's move, and there'd be no two in this box. If I put two here, it's the same. It sees that one by Sudoku and that by Knight's move, and there's no two in either of those. So two is in one of those two, which looks down, making that the one and that the two. So that's very cool. What are these two digits? That'll actually matter because these are one and seven and the one makes that the seven and that the one. And this is now a triple. Four, five, nine. Well, there's no five in the middle. There's no four there or nine there. That's the five. This is a four, nine. Can I resolve the four, nine? Not sure but it does put five in one of those two by Sudoku because the five's looking into the box. And then by Knight's move, that's not the five, that's the five. Looking up, making that the four, taking four out of there. This is beautiful. These puzzles are just good. I like these puzzles. I'm really glad I started this series. Like I didn't start the World Puzzle Federation series, but solving the puzzles as this set. I'm really glad I did it. Um, okay. Do I want to revisit this box? Because this can't be one, two, three. It could be four. It can't be five, six, seven. It could be eight. So these are two, four, seven, and eight. Well, eight is in one of those two now because of the eight not being able to be up here. So seven is up here. Eight is down here. Two is in here. So two. So where can four go? Almost anywhere, I think. Which is a little unfortunate. Seven in this box? Yes, yeah, seven in this box is placed. That seven sees both of those. That seven sees both of those. That's a seven, which looks up saying that's not a seven, that's a seven. Unfortunately, that didn't override a pencil mark, but these are two, four, and eight. And that one can't be an eight. And that one seems to be able to be any of them. Okay, down here, I need to put a four, which can go anywhere. I need to put a six which is only in one of those two. I need to put an eight, which is only in one of those two. And I need to put a nine, which is only in one of those two. A 
a little unfortunate again. So what's this quadruple? One, four, eight, and nine. So one is in one of those two. So this is only an eight because it sees one, four, and nine. So that's an eight. So these are one, four, nine, and neither of them are four because of that four. So th this is a one, nine pair. That's a four, that's a nine. This is a one, nine pair, and there's a nine looking down, making that the one and that the nine. That's cool. So what's the pair in this column? Three and six. And the six is looking in, making that the three, that the six. <laughs> this puzzle is cool. Okay, so I need to put a two in one of those two, but this two, because of the twos looking in from the right, but this two is looking down saying not there, this is a two. So this is actually a triple, four, six, and seven. This isn't a seven because of that seven. There'll be something else. This six is looking down saying that's not a six. Wow, okay. Oh, 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 it's been there for ages. That two is looking and making that the three and that the two, which makes that the four, which makes that the eight, which makes that the two. The eight looks down saying that's not the eight, that's the eight. These are one, two, three, four, six, and nine. The four and the nine look down, making that the six. So I can take six out of those. This is a four nine pair. And the nine makes that the four and that the nine. The four looks across, making that the six, which makes this a four seven pair. The seven is looking in, making that the four and that the seven. The seven looks up saying, that's not the seven, that's the seven. This digit right here, one, two, three, is the four. So these are one and three. The one is looking up, making that the three and that the one. The three is looking down, making that the five and that the three. And that's the correct solution to the puzzle. So that is 36 points in, what did it take me? 10 minutes, 38 seconds. Still not competitive, am I? <laughs> I don't care. This is a lot of fun though. I'm having a lot of fun with these puzzles. So that's what matters to me. I'm also trying to explain. So is that a handicap? Nope because I'm having fun. Thanks everyone for watching. I really hope you're enjoying the series and as always, good luck with your solving.